what would make your life better? What would make your life truly better? The difference in the question is what would make your life better? What do you think would make your life better? Do you have any idea? What would it take? What do you... What would it take? What do you think it would take? Would it, what would it, uh, a new car? A house? Other things? I'm not clear on what it would take to make anyone else's life better. What would it take to make your life more productive? What do you need to get more done? What do you need to better maintain your life? These are the things that you you think you know the answer to. Like, I think I know the answer. But what I realize is, as I get a thing or I make a change, I also get everything that comes with it. So when someone says, well, I don't have a car so I can get to work or do my job, whatever the job may be, I say, well, the problem you're going to have then is you're going to incur additional debt, liabilities that you don't currently have. So the money that you're going to make, is the offset going to be big enough? So I says, well, we need a, we need a, you know, better place to live. We, you know, we don't live in a very nice place. Well, I guess the definition of not a very nice place is by your own, where you're just, are you not, you're not happy and you think a nicer place. And here's where I know I, I, I people are like, well, you know, yes, I know for a fact where I live isn't a nice place. Well, What's the trade-off going to be when you go from the place that you consider not nice to a place that's going to cost you significantly more money? That's what, you know, I don't know. Sometimes people think that they want, they want something. And they want it so much that they think that's what's going to make the difference. Do they realize all the things that are going to come with whatever that thing may be? I want a, I want a better job so I can make more money. Okay. So here's an example. I have an employee that came and asked, Hey, I like a raise okay well let's let's evaluate your performance how much of a raise are you looking for four dollars okay so you want to go from ten dollars an hour to fourteen dollars an hour so you want to be a fourteen dollar an hour employee okay so let's look at your overall performance and we'll do an evaluation I mean Pull your time clock. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Wait for what? I gotta, I gotta pull your time. So, well, I've been, I've been late. Well, I mean, that's okay. Well, no, I mean, I've, I've, I've probably been late a lot. Oh. Well, that would be a problem then, wouldn't it? Like, well, okay, well, well let's, let's look at, uh, you know, how many breaks you're taking a day? Oh, oh the, the number of breaks I take a day is going to affect the raise also. Yeah. 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 And uh, how many times you come back late from lunch? That'll also affect it. And how much material you get processed in 
will also affect it. Oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, if you start looking at all that stuff, I'm, I'm probably not going to get the raise. Well, gosh, you've evaluated yourself. You have been paying attention. You listen when I say, you know, these are the things that we expect. And I always follow it up by saying, what's interesting about this is that I have to follow my own rules and I don't have anybody enforcing those rules. People are very confused over managing their own life, whether they're managing their life or a business, whether it's a business for someone else or their own business. I read the comments of a thousand questions what are your how, are your sales down? And I'm referring to, you know, people that are you know buying and selling eBay resellers, right? That's a terrible name, you know. It's because they they don't consider what they're doing an actual their own business, and it is. And maybe they're not taking pride in it. I'm not sure. But when I I read the comments and people are like, oh my sales are down, and then somebody follows it up like, oh my sales are down too. Why do you think our sales are down? And then somebody's like, well, I know why my sales are down. I, you know, I, I didn't get very many listings up last week or I didn't go out buying new material. I wasn't sourcing. It doesn't matter whether you are working for yourself, reselling on eBay, or you're punching a clock. If you don't get your job done, as I was saying, I was rudely interrupted. Little pause there, jump cut video thingy. It doesn't matter whether you work for yourself, someone else, if you don't get your job done, you're not gonna make any additional money. People still today work in industries that you make piecework pay. So if you were in a field picking strawberries and blueberries or you're an orange picker, you get paid by the piece. And also on the packing side, orange packing, you know, orange packing houses. Way back, people would get paid to put, the oranges would come down a conveyor belt and, and filter by size into a, a huge bin in front of you. And you'd stand there and you'd, you got bags and you take oranges and you put them in that bag as fast as you can to a weight. Sometimes it's a count, sometimes it's a weight of the oranges depending upon the size of the oranges that you've been assigned that day. And you got paid, I don't know, let's say 10 cent a bag. You're gonna stuff a lot of bags and you're gonna be lucky to make sixty seventy dollars a day the reason I know that is my mother did that job for the half of my life and when she would come home and tell me that you know that she would very much she wishes that there was someone she could go to and ask for a raise but the only the only person that could give her a raise was her her own actions. So if you don't get your listings up or you don't share your closet on Poshmark or you don't respond to customer inquiries, customer complaints, customer emails, it doesn't matter whether you're selling on eBay, whether you're punching a clock. I could say this over and over and over and over. People think that there's some difference and they're simply not. There is no difference. You're going to do your job. And if you don't do your job and all you do is make excuses, the only person you're hurting is yourself. Which takes me back to when I ask you, what would change your life? And what do you think would change your life? How can you make your life better? The answer, 
most people always say, well, you know, I'd, I'd like to make more money or, you know, better quality of life or, well, what's going to give you a better quality of life? I have people that go, oh, money doesn't matter. Well, then what's going to make your life better? You can't make your life better because it's not things that you need or you want. It's you want some better quality of life. I suppose it's possible, but now we're talking about something that I'm just going to be honest, I don't really understand. I don't understand how you can have a better quality of life without, you know, pushing yourself to make your life better. You know, maybe, maybe you, uh, you're, you, you know, you live out in the country and you make your own furniture and you build your own house. Well, I suggest you get up in the morning and you make better furniture. You build your house better. Whatever the case may be, you're solely reliant on yourself. And if you can't figure out what you need to do, you need to take a step back, look at everybody around you, see what they're doing. And you form an opinion. You come to a conclusion immediately. Do you think they're doing it right or wrong? then you may need to question your own judgment. Still today, people seem to be baffled in the world of eBay sales over someone doesn't like an item they bought from you and you don't want to take it back. Not once do I ever see any of these people that are providing advice say, if you bought something and you didn't like it, are you going to keep it? See, there's some weird stigma that says if I buy something on eBay and I don't like it, what's well, tough? Because I can buy it from anybody else and I can certainly return it to them. But somehow, some way, eBay sellers seem to think that they want these transactions to go one way never looking at it from if it was you making a purchase and the items are bad. Uh, the other day I bought seven items from one seller and every one of them showed up they were all broken. You know, and I, there's no one to call. So I email, hey, all these items are bad. And you know the email I get back? Well, that's not possible. Really? That it? Why do you think that's not possible? Well, because I know these items were working when I got them. Okay, all right. Really? Okay. So, uh, can you provide a little more information about, you know, how you know these items were working when you got them? Well, yeah. I, I saw them working. Okay, well, now I'm going to speed up the story to the, that's not possible because these items came out of an active data center. 100 amp rectifiers. You couldn't have seen them. It's not possible. So stop lying. And that's the email I sent back. The seller's response was, oh, uh, oops, yeah, I was thinking these are some other items that I'd ship to a different person. This guy has 8,430 positive feedback. So first, we're going to put up as much resistance as possible, forcing me to either go, oh man, maybe, maybe I'm wrong and he's right and the items work and I just, I don't know anything about them. Oh, and he agreed to take them back because clearly he has no choice. Not everybody understands that they can force you to take items back when they don't work or they don't like them or for any other reason. And if your moral compass is adjusted to such fact that you think it's okay to sell people stuff that they don't want, they don't need, or they don't like, you, my friend, are in the wrong business. When you get up every morning, you're getting ready and you're like, man, I really hate my job. You are in the wrong job. See that? It's the same. When you find the 
which don't want to do what is necessary to complete the job. And the job in this case is completing a sale, finalizing a transaction, seeing it through, clocking in, finishing your day, getting whatever that job function is done, whether it's listing on eBay, taking returns, answering customers' questions. You show up, you clock in, you have to answer the phone all day, you've got to file reports all day, whatever it is that you may be doing. Maybe you work in a body shop and you order parts for, for other guys that are fixing cars and you screw that up. You don't get the parts ordered. Not only are you affecting you, you're affecting the guy, another guy that needs that job to be completed. You see? So when you sell something to somebody on eBay, everyone makes the assumption I'm selling this to this person, never thinking once that they're going to take that item and they may give it to another person who's going to be extremely disappointed, who's going to express their disappointment back to your buyer, who's then going to come back to you very angry because you didn't do your due diligence vetting whatever product it is you're selling. Verifying whether the shirt had a hole in it or whatever the item may have been working. In my case, these things weren't working and they were very, very heavy. These things are, you know, 40 pounds a piece. They cost thousands and thousands of dollars each. But you know what he was thinking about? $2,000 a piece times eight, $16,000 that he got for free. I don't care whether he got them for free. All I cared about is if they work, great. Thank you. Okay? But they didn't work. Hey, you can take them back now. All right? Well, you know, the return shipping. Ooh, I know. 40 pounds, brother, times eight. Man, so your free item isn't going to be free anymore. Now you don't get to sell them. And I call that the cost of doing business. People start buying and selling as a hobby. They want to make a little extra money, but they don't want to accept the downside. Getting up every morning and going to a job, it's accepting the downside of having to get up every morning and go to a job. So when you think about what's going to make your life better or what you think will make your life better, feel free to shoot me some emails. I'd love to read what everyone thinks would make their life better. I'd like to understand it. What would make my life better is for all of us who work for ourselves, consider ourselves an entrepreneur or a reseller, whatever it is that you do for a living to be prideful and respectful worry about getting that job done to 100% of your ability. If all these things happen, I guess I, I wouldn't have any uh, reason to make a video anymore. I'm Dave, and this was The Drive.